Austin City leaders say they're taking a stand. Today, some council members revealed they're planning to use city budget money to help women get access to abortion. It comes after the state placed restrictions on funding abortion providers. KXA investigator Kevin Clark reports on the latest battle between the city and the state. The state of Texas has passed laws restricting access to abortion. Austin now wants to make a statement of its own. In some ways, this is the city fighting back. Greg Kassar is one of the council members who want to provide funding, up to $150,000 to help with abortion assistance. He says the money would help local women navigate the barriers to get an abortion. The lost wages and the child care costs and the kinds of things that get in the way that make it uh, nearly impossible, especially for the lowest income people to be able to access their legal right to that kind of health care. Pro-choice nonprofit the Lilith Fund tells me it gets requests for help with child care, transportation and emotional support. That's where these proposed budget dollars would go. Austin is taking this route because state lawmakers have made it illegal for local tax dollars to support abortion providers. Joe Poyman is executive director of Texas Alliance for Life. He believes there are much better ways for the city to spend that money. Central Texas has some 23 providers of compassionate alternatives to abortion. That's the place the city of Austin should be spending its money. To. Organizations that would offer services such as rides to and from a clinic or counseling would bid for the money. Funds would then be issued through the city's public health department. Kevin Clark, KXAN News. City leaders, along with pro-choice groups, plan to formally announce the budget initiative on Monday afternoon. Lawmakers in Tennessee are considering legislation that would almost entirely ban abortions. It started as a fetal heartbeat bill, but now they're taking it a step further. The measure would ban abortions once a heartbeat is detected or once a pregnancy hormone called HCG shows up. It can be detected in a blood test as early as 10 days from conception. So far, six states have passed heartbeat bills. Tennessee lawmakers are in summer session now, so even if it passes out of that committee, lawmakers won't be able to vote on it until the next session in January. Texas lawmakers tried to pass a heartbeat bill. It missed a House deadline and didn't advance, but the governor did sign a bill called the Born Alive Act. The law is designed to protect any baby that survives an abortion. Most abortions happen before 20 weeks, when a fetus has very little, if any, chance of surviving outside the womb. Texas has been tracking how many babies survive abortions since 2013. So far, none have been reported.